She fought alongside Anakin during the Clone Wars. A youngling? And who are you supposed to be? But what happened to Ahsoka after Order 66? The Kangaroo's Ants presents Star Wars Lore Episode 25, The Life of Ahsoka Tano. Ahsoka was born on the planet Shili and is a Togruta. On a mission to her homeworld, Jedi Plo Koon discovered the Force-sensitive three-year-old and chose to raise her in the Jedi Temple. She showed great potential as she trained to be a Jedi and Master Yoda, who trained younglings, noticed she was ahead of the others. Because of this, she was promoted to rank of Padawan earlier than usual. As the Clone Wars began, Yoda assigned Ahsoka to Anakin, not just for her growth, but for Skywalker to be taught a greater sense of responsibility. Although Tano initially annoyed Anakin with her clumsy nature that would set off droid alarms and that they bickered a lot, Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but we're in a bit of an emergency right here. They both found common ground and Anakin could see what Yoda and Plo Koon saw in the still young Ahsoka. After combat with gun-wielding droids, the day came where she would take on a Sith. She used her experience from fighting Magna Guards when dueling Asajj Ventress. The fight was abrupt, but it was not the last time Ahsoka would face a Sith. She actually died on the planet Mortis, but was resurrected. This was also her first encounter with the power of the dark side, as she briefly turned towards it. Lux Bonteri and her formed a romantic attraction, which was against the Jedi Code, but this didn't matter as Ahsoka was banished from the Order. This all came about when Tano's friend, Barris Ophi, bombed the Jedi Temple and framed her for it. Ahsoka had to go on the run and actually stumbled across Asajj Ventress, who she previously dueled. They formed an alliance as they were both on the run from their masters. Eventually Tano was captured, which led her to being expelled from the Jedi Order and was put on trial by the Republic. She faced a death sentence but was saved by the confessing Barriss Ophi. The Jedi Council was deeply sorry and invited Ahsoka back to the Order, but she refused. I can't stay here any longer. Not now. The Jedi Order is your life. You can't just throw it away like this! So what happened next? Well, there seems to be a few suggestions as to what happened to her, and they all seem to imply that she survived Order 66. An answer which looks very probable is that she married a Jedi named Kolker's Tak, and with the power of the two, they survived the downfall of the Jedi. Ahsoka later on became a member of the New Jedi Order Council, started by Luke Skywalker, with her husband becoming a Grand Jedi Master. So if this is the answer, then we may well be seeing her in the upcoming Episode 7. She may also be in Star Wars Rebels, after it was revealed the creators wanted to bring her back. Either way, there is a strong chance we will once again see the Togruta. Remember to vote for next week's episode by liking one of the two comments below, and also look out for a new Star Wars series starting Monday. If you want to learn more about someone or something from the Star Wars universe, leave a comment below. For more Star Wars lore, keep it locked here to the Kankrasans. I'm assigned to Anakin Skywalker, and he is to supervise my Jedi training. But that doesn't make any sense. We'll have to sort this out later.